We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Foods like that, though, those are, we use them ceremonially. I think if we just kept it to ceremonial use, then I, I don't think that we, we would have that much of a problem. I don't think we'd have any problem. So, but growing foods, growing, uh, putting us, start, start with small gardens in our backyard. And I know, like on the reservation where I'm, where I'm at, we have a lot of land. And we could convert all that, a lot of that land that's not, you know, not being cultivated for crops. But we could put good crops on there, you know, and, and just eat the food ourselves right off, right out of the garden. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. That's the way. That's the way. That's why I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna lead a walk next year to raise the awareness of, of diabetes. I'm gonna walk across this country, beginning February 4th on the Heart Day, Valentine's Day, and I'm gonna walk from Huntington Beach, February 14th, all the way to Washington D.C. I'm gonna go through the southern states into Florida, the north, and just uh, raise issues about diabetes and what they've been telling us all these years. You know that if we have to stay on medication to control our, our, our insulin, our diabetes, that's the wrong information. That's the bad information. And as a matter of fact, it's so bad, I think it's criminal. It is a criminal information to, to tell us all that stuff and hide from us the real possibility that there is a cure. There is a way to reverse diabetes. And, and I would say in most cases, of course, if you're born with it, and you know if you've had it all your life, I don't know if uh, I don't know if your pancreas can, can kick in, but uh, but for those who've had it for the last ten years, fifteen or twenty years, I think there's a way to reverse it. So you know, let's let's give it a shot. Absolutely, and living this type of lifestyle, it's very unlikely you're like you're going to heal your heart too. You know. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. <clears throat> I think that's going to be number one because. Diabetes uh, does affect the heart. The, you know, there's the, 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 there's a connection, there's a link between heart disease and diabetes, of course. I'm really excited about the walk you're doing next year. That's huge, all the way from Huntington uh, Beach to Washington D.C. That yeah. it's going to take like five months, right? Yes. Yeah, it'll take five months. I've done this will be my sixth walk across wow. the United States, and, uh, and I've done five running events. I, I I'm also a coach. I coach long distance running. So um, now I'm going to coach long distance living. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So if people want to know more about the walk or to get involved in some way, is there some way they can contact you? Yeah, we're going to, by the end of this week, uh, or by the end of this month, we'll have a, a website. Uh, right now it's, it's on the internet. Uh, I have a, I have, I'm on Facebook, so if they want to click on to Dennis Banks on Facebook, uh, we'll give you some information. Do you have any other websites or blogs or anything? Or? Yes, uh, Longest Walk uh, and the Sacred Run. All these are, we're, 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 those are our websites. So, um, But it's going to be a good walk. I mean, di there's diabetics going to walk with us. They're coming, they want to come in wheelchairs. And I'm wow. saying, sure, if you guys provide your own transportation, because they have their own lifts, and there's something that we, we wouldn't be able to, you know, to, to afford to, supply everybody with lifts but if they a lot of them have their own lifts you know they have their own vans and so yes they're welcome to come and and you know let's let's uh, and those of you who want to help uh, help people you're certainly welcome to come bring bring you know bring your own finances so we can so we don't we don't get burdened by uh by by you know the financial cost that it takes it would take to, to do this so probably i would say like if we have about 20, 30 vehicles, it will cost us about probably about sixty to eighty thousand dollars. Wow! But if one person, but each person brings their own cash, then then it then it doesn't cost anybody anything. I mean, it doesn't cost the the, the walk. Right. It uh, you know we'll we'll just keep on walking with everybody providing their own their own resources. And people can join at different parts of the walk, right? They don't have to walk for the whole five months. They oh, can. no, they can, uh, they can walk uh, one week, they can walk one month, they can join us for an hour. Uh, two years ago, on, on the longest walk, we had uh, those school kids joined us for hours. Hmm. They were like 
with us for about two hours, about 70 school kids out of, out of the school out of, uh, in, in, in northern um, Arizona, now on the Navajo Reservation. Uh, school kids, and they, and they were all, oh, you know, it's a good story. They brought, they'd saved their quarters and nickels and dimes, and they came and they all brought us a big bunch of, you know, to help us with gas. Aww. And all that amounted, and, and you know, it was $300 in quarters, nickels, and dimes. Wow. And, um, and that goes a long ways, you know. You got, you know, when you have, we had, we had five vehicles, and we filled them up, and then gas was a little high last year. But you know, it, it made you know we can go 400 miles on, on that. You know. So you would sleep in the vehicles. Is yeah, that... sleep in the vehicles. We sleep at churches, uh, gymnasiums, universities. Well, we'll be going walking through. And some of the time during when when it's summertime, when all the schools will be out. So, in the, in the summer months, we'll end up in most of the uh, of the of the church. I mean, the, the gymnasiums, fitness centers, stuff like huh. that. I want to join. <laughs> we don't know where we'll be at that point, but yeah, hopefully we'll get to join you. Yeah, bring uh, bring, bring your sleeping bag. Uh, you know, and if if you don't have any transportation and you've got your own money to you know help along the way, just bring your sleeping bag because we can carry it. On we'll have a couple of big trailers with us, big flatbeds there, and people all, all along the way are willing to help right now. They're, they're, we're getting emails, we're getting uh, hits on our website. And, and, and the people are requesting, you know, uh, more information. It's, it's getting larger and larger than I thought. And I've done walks, all of, you know, for the last 40 years. But this one is, 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 uh, is, is a little different. And, and well, yeah, people are just, you know, and we're telling people too, you know, we don't want to see any grave biscuits and gravy, you know, because that's, I used to, oh, I love that. And, <laughs> but, it, you know, it ruined, ruined my health, part of ruining my health, we're saying, when you feed the people out there, when you feed us coming through, make it vegetarian, make it raw, and make it make it um, organic. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> let's, let's help. Let's help out on this one. And we'll get to Washington. We'll have a message for Washington D.C. and saying, you know, well, there has to be some major, major changes in how you look at diabetes. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. <clears throat> um, go ahead. I'd love to ask a little bit about what life is like in your community. Is it in Dakota, your community? Hmm? Your your community where yeah. you live? Are you in Dakota? No, I'm in uh, no, I'm in uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, it's a fishing village. I live in, in a fishing village. There's just just about forty of us on, in, in the village, uh, and we and we do subsistence fishing. We all fish with nets, and we all go harvesting wild rice. Uh, we, we keep a lot of the rice for to carry us through the winter months, uh, and because of electricity, we do a lot of fishing. We we, we fillet the fish and put them, store them, and freeze them for the winter. Uh, so we, we do have that kind of uh, subsistence uh, living up there. It's good subsistence living. Um, it, we the only thing is we don't have the fresh crops. To, you know, it, like an avocado costs like ninety eight cents over here might cost like three dollars up there wow. so uh, and we know we have our own school and it's immersion school only when the kids get there they have to speak the Ojibwe language they can't speak English wow. um, so it, it, you know we're fighting back we're struggling back and you know we're gonna survive and surviving culturally and physically and, and with health too sir and what is food generally like on the reservations? What kind food? Of, yeah. Unfortunately, that's what's causing a lot of our, there's a high incidence of diabetes with Native Americans. And from Tucson to the Pimas to, to Ojibwe and to the Lakotas, and, uh, it's bad. We're going to visit many reservations on this walk. And we've already visited a lot of them. And I've known a lot of them from all the years we've been walking, and there's a lot of diabetics that come there to help, and they, and they and they come in wheelchairs, and they and you know, and, and they're just a lot of them are crying because they can't walk and, and be with us because their legs are cut off. Mm. But this time I'm saying, if, if you're in a wheelchair. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.